throughout practice one to practice two, practice seven, practice eight. Uh, I genuinely feel like we've been going forward. We've been moving things forward. I think we're, we're identifying uh, and diagnosing plays a lot better. Our offensive rec recognition is really growing. I think understanding deployment of receivers and, and, and releases and splits and, and uh, winning the pre-snap guys, uh, the football character and the football identity and football intelligence is really coming to life. And you're seeing guys just put a foot in the ground and make plays. You're seeing guys stay, stay more sticky in coverage. And I think the film is really telling that story right now. Um, um, so uh, I, I think uh, we're in a solid place right now. we got a lot of work in front of us, uh, but I like what I'm seeing right now from the group. How the communication piece yeah. on the entire back end because yeah. there are so many new parts. Absolutely. Uh, you know, something we stress a lot is we talk about winning the pre-snap. You know, your alignment, where your eyes are, uh, bending your knees, burning your eyes, uh, that communication, the disguise element that comes into play. Uh, how do we show one pitcher and play something else? You know, so much of it with Keon and Malachi and uh, Devontae Smith over there at the Husky spot and then really getting that communication, you know, out to the corners, whoever's on the edge. And, and we stress that a lot in walkthroughs. We stress it in meetings. And guys are taking great ownership in that. I think when you can win the pre-snap, when you can win that first 38 seconds before the ball turns over um, it, and, and, and be able to give uh, the quarterback multiple looks and uh, play different coverage concepts behind it, it takes communication. But uh, it, I think we're in a good place with it, and the guys have been doing a pretty good job with it. A guy like Xavier Brown, uh, even with that club on his hand, he still yeah. seems to make catches and practice yeah, from I mean, out there. Like, I mean, how would you assess his development even just the past couple of weeks? I, I think the fact alone that yeah, he, he hasn't missed a beat. I mean, he had a small little small little injury to his hand, and he uh, one got right back out there, and he practiced and finished practice with it, and, and it hasn't affected him at all. I think he's, he's got a lot of mental toughness, you know, the ability to not let things affect your game and not get distracted by things. So he's a real focused guy. Um, his play is really is really in a good place right now, and uh, we're going to need him to be good, you know, and I think he's, he's taking care of what we need to take care of right now. Smith, kind of what do you know about his resiliency yeah. back, and then what have you seen from him? It, it took you like five seconds to be around him when we first got here. <clears throat> I think his energy is uh, genuine. It's infectious. It's contagious. Um, uh, it's real. <clears throat> and I always say like messages from the heart always enter the heart. Guys that have that real energy always can spark other guys to bring it, uh, bring practices to life. Uh, you love being around Smitty. You love the energy that he provides, his attitude, and then uh, he makes plays. You know, and and, and I think uh, you know you can be a guy that you know maybe brings that energy sometimes, but ultimately you gotta let your play back it up. And I think he's been doing that. So I, I think he's hungry to prove himself. I think he's hungry to prove a point. I think the best version of players that are out there are guys that are looking to prove a point. Guys that are looking to make statements and. He recognizes that this could be an opportunity for him, and I think he's trying to maximize the moment and maximize the situation that he's in right now. The thing about our secondary right now, I think we've got a number of guys that are probably in a very similar boat, like a Damani Jackson, uh, a new guy stepping in with Zabian and, and, and uh, Mbakwe and Mincy uh, with young guys, Keon Sab coming over from Michigan, even, uh, um, even Malachi Moore going into his last year. Everyone recognizes the opportunity that's in front of them uh, and, and trying to do everything they can to get themselves game ready we want to keep pouring into our players, continue to uh, build that unbreakable bond uh, from player to player, coach to player, and, and player to coach. And I think we're in a, in, a, in a solid space right now. we got a lot of work in front of us, uh, but the guys are working. I think things are going in the right direction. I think the, the players would probably tell you that too. And, uh, and, and, and you feel good about what's going on on the field right now. How's Deshaun Jones coming along? Yeah, I love Deshaun. I, I, I think um, you know what, what he's provided right now is an older guy that has been in big games, that has a very steady way about himself. Steady is the best way to describe him. Uh, sometimes I've been around, you know, you've been around louder guys, you've been around more quiet guys. Um, you know, guys' personality, I always tell guys, we got freedom of personality. Be who you are. When you step on the football field, there's a certain way you got to play the game. So he's got a steady personality, but when he, when he steps on the grass, I think his, his, play, his play does shoot up. I love that we, we've been able to provide an older guy that's been through some battles and been through some quote unquote football wars before on the football field. And sometimes even the younger guys, seeing a guy just kind of be able to take drills and take coaching and be steady with it he's kind of providing that veteran experience and the guys making plays so we feel like uh, we uh, we uh, we made contact we, we 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 got contact at the base when we were looking going up to bat to try to find a transfer guy that can come in and, and make plays for us and we're, we're pleased with what he's doing for us specifically at corner 